So, in a very short space of time between getting news about the car pack for this month, which drops in just a couple of days now on the 5th, we now have even more news as far as new vehicles coming to GT Sport, but this one would appear, at least for the moment, to be more of a, a standalone vehicle coming toward the end of the month. And the car is a brand new brand, a brand new kind of race car, and one which you could certainly have a bit of speculation on as far as where it will fall, as far as how livery is going to work on the vehicle. And the car in question is the 2019 Dallara SF19. Now, for those who are unfamiliar with the car, it's pretty obviously an open-wheel Formula vehicle. It's not a Formula 1 or a Formula 2 or anything like that. It's actually a Japanese Super Formula Series car. Now, what that means is it's less powerful than a Formula 1, but it's also lighter and it still has a boost system. Now the car is powered by a 2 litre turbo engine, it has 550 horsepower, as I said it is lighter than a Formula 1 car, so the specs are actually pretty good. Now as far as the boost system, this means that in an actual Super Formula event, the driver can up to five times use this boost system, which temporarily increases the car's power to 600 horsepower for about a duration of roughly 20 seconds. Now, this is apparently going to be usable in GT Sport. Now, I'm not sure what kind of button they'll use to apply that to the car, but it will be very interesting to see it being applied because stuff like that actually hasn't been on other vehicles, even ones which had it before, like the Nissan Vision GT and the Tomahawk. So that's an interesting little wrinkle in the story. Now, as far as this car dropping, I already said it's coming toward the end of this month, and it appears, for the moment at least, to be on its own. Now, I'm expecting it based on the previous vehicles of its type in the game, including the F1500 TA and, of course, Hamilton's Mercedes Formula car. I think it's going to be in Group X. I think that's a fairly obvious statement, but I think it is going to be there. And as far as liveries go, that's the interesting thing, because on the one hand, it is bare carbon, which certainly makes for an interesting canvas, if you will, in a similar way to a Zonda R, for instance, or the Mercedes cannot be. So there's interesting evidence on either side to say that either this could be paintable or maybe not. Now, personally, I'm currently airing more on the side that we probably will not be able to paint it, but I hope I'm wrong. This is one of those occasions where I definitely hope I'm wrong. So I'll have to wait and see, of course. Any new vehicle is a cool one, but when it involves new kinds of racing coming into the game, such as NASCAR that we discussed before, or Formula E, or even some of the rumours about an Indy car coming, it's all interesting stuff, and it's cool to see some of that actually happening such as in the case of this one. But that's it overall for this quick update. Of course, stick around on the channel for more news and, of course, reviews and tunes of plenty of vehicles in the game. And for now, as always, thanks for watching.